What's up, everybody? It's your boy, KG. Boy, Big C. And welcome to YT Talking. Today, what are we gonna hit the people with? Donald Trump. POTUS. He was interviewed by Jonathan Swan uh, on Axios. Yeah. It aired on HBO. Yeah. Damn. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, where my judge mallet at? <laughs> Put it down, put folks, it down. Folks, folks, if you haven't seen this interview, you gotta see it. Not only did uh, John DeSwan do a great job interviewing POTUS, the responses to most of his questions are just unbelievable. Man. I'm talking about- I mean, you, you have to believe, see it to believe it, really. I'm talking about to the window, <laughs> to the wall, to the wall. <laughs> Tell me, man, what is Don't make going me see the rest on? Of the this is a family program. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Family friendly, family friendly. So a lot of the issues that they did bring up during this interview actually hit almost every major point that's going on in the world right now. I'm telling you. Black Lives Matter, uh, absentee uh, voting. The stats on some of the stuff when it comes down to the coronavirus, the, the thing that ghosts in the dark, you know. Hey, you see that whisper in the wind? Cooties. Cooties. Ooh, run. The, the killer cooties. I'm telling you, it's all on the playground. Run. But yeah, man, I seen the interview myself and I, So what do you think about it? What was your what's your takeaway? I'ma say I'm lost for words, people. And if y'all don't see what's really being going on and what he is showing you with the words he's speaking and the actions that he's taking, then I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. Right? I can't believe that uh, the same guy that is the leader of the free world is the guy that sat in that interview and answered those questions the way he did. He was more about patting himself on the back. Yeah, defending himself. Yes, most of the time other than giving the people the answers they've been looking for. Yeah, yeah. And I actually, big thumbs up. If y'all believe it, put it in the comments, but big thumbs up to Jonathan Swan for actually oh, yeah, for sure taking that initiative to put Trump on that stand and ask Trump the right questions to the point where he couldn't escape and yeah. he had to give the truth. Yeah, the hard questions. Oh yeah, most yeah. definitely. Uh, one, of the, one of the points that um, they hit on during the interview was the mail-in voting. Yes. According to Donald Trump, it's a new phenomenon. Really? <laughs> you know, this thing has been around since the Civil War. Actually, we've had several attempts throughout history even before the Civil War, mm. uh, when it actually started getting some real traction yeah. and becoming a legit thing. But people have had the right to do that for for ages. And they've and been doing it. They've been doing it. And now that Trump feels that this, for some reason, is gonna be a threat to him, yeah, uh, it's a new phenomenon and he's trying to get rid of it in several states, which he does not have the power to do. Which I don't understand. Is it because you know people are not gonna vote for you? Is it because now you got people that are actually gonna be able to put their opinion? Because we always heard the scams when it came down, even for the mail-ins, to whenever people used to do the end voting whenever they did it with machines. Mm -hmm. yeah. People, remember what the for Barack Obama <laughs> man? Remember oh that? yeah. You yeah. would click on another. Uh, you would click on a Barack Obama and would vote for the independent, or you would click on another person and would vote for mm -hmm. anybody else. That was crazy. Yeah. So he believes it's gonna happen with the mail-in ballots. Now, the only reason why this is really becoming an issue mm -hmm. is because of the pandemic, of course. Most definitely. Nobody wants to go to a crowded polling station when there's a possibility to get sick. Yeah. So obviously, this tool that's available to us, we'd want it, we'd want to utilize. Really? Why is that such a hard thing to understand? At the end of the day, uh, it, it is a right for Americans to do that. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, several states have already actually sent out the applications mm -hmm. for the uh, the mail-in ballots, and they're going they're going full steam ahead, regardless of what POTUS is trying to say and do. And hey, I would say this: the second that take that initiative to vote, educate yourselves and vote, because that is your word, that is your say so, and you mm -hmm. let your word and your voice heard. And that's what people need nowadays because that's the only way change is gonna come. Yeah. So take that initiative, guys. Oh, yes, your boy Kanye West. Yay! <laughs> Washway. Weezy. <Ow. laughs> Tell me how. Yeezy. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, does he get a come on, man? Yeah, he do. He gets he, a big come on, man. He, he, he get that one of those. <laughs> wah, wah. I would love another brother in office. Yeah. I would, I really would. Not that brother. 
Not that one. <sighs> no, no. Hey, look, Graduation was one of the best albums ever ever put out. Oh, I still got that on vinyl. I still got, I got that on vinyl. Come on, now. That's one of the best. Of... Good morning. Hey. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. All right. So, anyway, all right. I'm all about anybody, no matter who they are, uh, trying to do better for this country. Yes. But there's a lot of speculation that he's actually working with Trump on this. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. When I first heard about it, that was the first thing that I thought. You know, why is this guy doing this? Now he's saying that he, he's he's going to be as an independent and that he has no affiliation with Trump. It's like, bro, just a year ago, we saw you in the Oval Office with the MAGA hat on, uh, kissing up to this guy. And now you want to go make your own right. You know you have no chance of even becoming president of the United States. Like, he's he didn't even file in time for the deadlines. I'm telling you, and you know, and y'all know this with put y'all experiences that y'all seen with Kanye West in the comments because what what was the last one you seen him with Bush yeah and he was saying <laughs> Bush is not like black people here go Mike Myers the whole time he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't plan for this I was the power they know what was going yeah, on yeah I'm talking about he didn't have the power to change the station I wish I cut to commercial please <laughs> Believe this dude just said that. I'm telling you. And I gotta stand here and smile. <laughs> but I'm not lying. Even though it was off the wall, it was a little bit of truth. Yeah. But what's the truth now? Because one thing that people are hitting on a lot, especially with Kanye West and trying to run as an independent, is you need at least 90% of the African American votes so that you can secure a democratic vote. Yep. So imagine that you got a man such as Kanye that people are gonna love due to his music and the image that he pursues he portrays to the people yeah. for so long. You take some of those percentages away, the Republicans gonna automatically win. Yep. And the person that is running as a Republican, we all know you love them. Some of you do, some of you do. A lot of y'all do actually. I'm telling you. Right. I don't know why, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Y'all need a V8. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's Trump. So that's a divide and conquer method. And that's the, that's yeah. the real way they're trying to take him down. And so. At the end of the day, it's another Trump distraction. Th- that's that is, all it that is. is. One of the, uh, the main tools uh, in his repertoire that he likes to use, distraction. We all know, deep down, Kanye West is never going to be president of the United States. I'm telling you. At least not right now. No. Anyway. No matter what, how this plays out, even if you uh, distract the pot enough, you, you confuse people, you you put this false narrative out there, you give people something else to think about other than Joe Biden. Yes. Either, either way, he wins. That's what he always does uh, to get out of something or to to make to, to imbalance something. Either way, it's going to be effective. Yeah. Because, you, like you said, even if you get a small percentage of folks to start thinking about this as a possibility, then you've already won. Yep. You know, dividing and conquering. And yep. that's one thing people are not paying attention to, man. Yep. Why you got people running around, oh, yeah, I'm gonna vote for Kanye. Why? Because <laughs> he's a black man. Well, that's great. You're supporting, you know, supporting the soul, you know, yeah. But are you educating yourself to see what's the bigger image? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the hardest part that people are not paying attention to. And it's right in front of your face. It's just you gotta do that education. But that's why we here. We're gonna let you yep. know. So you can hit in that comment to ask your questions and we gonna boom, punch and roll with them. You know, after the after seeing that rally he did with the bulletproof vest on, I can't even imagine why anybody would even think about that, but that's just me. Speaking. <laughs> hey. I don't even want to talk about that. that that's gonna be in a later episode. Speaking of rally, we're gonna go back, brother, to the, back to the pandemic, yeah. back to Trump. Why would you hold a Tulsa rally? Where they say it was reported that it was 6,200 people. Yeah. Um, at oh, the rally. According to Trump during the interview, it was 12,000. Yeah. It was yeah, incorrectly yeah. reported. So, according to him. But that even makes it worse. Yeah. So you're not helping yourself. <laughs> well, that's the funny part about it. He doesn't get that. The, um, the man that asked him was there 6,000, there were 6,000 people there, which is a bad thing given the fact that there's a close proximity, there was no mask mandate. Well, Trump, uh, to do, he, he didn't even catch the point that by defending his crowd size, like you said, he's making it worse. So you're like, oh, so it wasn't 6,000 people. It was actually double that. Oh, my God. I, I oh, give up. But that ain't the worst part. <laughs> the moment he was there, he never even talked about coronavirus as a whole. No. Not Black Lives Matter as a whole. And three weeks after the rally, 
Oklahoma had a spike of coronavirus. Yep. A spike, big spike. Not to mention there were several uh, members in the government that were, uh, contracted the virus. Yes. Well, After of course, of course rally, they didn't get it from the rally, but they were there and they didn't have masks on. At the same time, so. Mm, yeah, that's kind of, is that a coincidence? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, is, I don't that, know. is that a coincidence? I'm like, I guess the fat lady yeah, singing. I gotta put on my fedora and start being a detective. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, where you at, man? <laughs> Back to the report with um, Jonathan Swan. He asked him so many questions about Black Lives Matter. Yeah. And he evaded it. According to Trump, Black Lives Matter people are terrorists. What did what he say? What did he say? <laughs> pigs in a blanket and... Fry them or something. Fry, like, them, fry them like pigs in a blanket or yeah, something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. That's not the purpose, and we all know the purpose of Black Lives Matter. Yeah. yeah. It's to get our quality to get that right ownership of what people deserve and not to go out and be scared yeah. of being harmed because one of the questions john jonathan actually asked um trump was what was it um why are black people uh more likely to get murdered by police officers 2.5 times what, what, did, what, did, what did, tell him what trump said tell him what he said a lot of white people get killed too is what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> Moment of silence. <laughs> For the ignorant. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? What's Looney that? Tunes. And it's wabbit season. <laughs> it's wabbit season. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Got a little Elmer Fudd going there. <laughs> it's wabbit season. Not duck season. Wabbit season. <laughs> I'm really just lost for words on that topic and a bunch of other things Trump said, such as United States in case it's not growing. And if y'all seen our previous videos, which I hope y'all did. Y'all better have. I'm cool. Tell me. Better have. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, are we? <laughs> Anyways, sorry, you better hit that like button. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway, uh, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine a flu and coronavirus making a baby that you can catch in there. Well, let me not speak that into it. I'm not going to Somebody get brain sauce walk in the building. Y'all know who he is if y'all from Texas. Ooh, we! <laughs> Ooh, we! We need your help. About Biden and what he said, that oh. Trump was not really taking the initiative. Yeah. Whenever everybody got the main reports, yeah. Whenever he caused the ban on China, on Europe, and everything. But even after the ban, whenever they said they weren't gonna let people, you know, fly in, yeah. They had four hundred thirty thousand people fly in. That's a, lot, that's, a, that's a lot of people. I'm telling you, and then yeah. after restrictions were finalized and let known to the public, they let another, how many? 40,000 people come in What's two the, months after the restrictions. The virus didn't get here by itself. Don't go on Axios saying that we prevented millions and millions of lives that have not been affected. Yeah. When you can actually look at the numbers, United and States, if you look at the top five countries, the United States is number one. Number one. So not for a good reason. That's bad. Number one in cases and deaths. Yeah, like if it was sports, you know, the Olympics and stuff like that, I would be who ate, who's out, <laughs> you know. But My. with <laughs> with coronavirus cases, <laughs> it's not a good thing. All right, you guys, it's been fun talking to y'all. Um, if y'all have any other comments, please hit them down What's there. Up? You want to hear what y'all have to say? Bell, hit that bell. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Do those thumbs up and also share share we want to get the information out there to you guys especially if it's not being told on certain platforms um like we always say it's your boy kg with big c and welcome to yt talking we out, we out.